The problem with like coming up with such a specific idea is that you look for it and then you can't find it. And it's just so frustrating that you're like, I have to make it. I wish someone else had, but now I have to. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Midlight Christmas, <laughs> the podcast where normally we talk about Twilight and Midnight Sun, but we're having a Christmas episode. We're going to talk about not the chapters as a gift to ourselves. We didn't have to read Twilight or most especially we didn't have to read Midnight Sun this week, which was so great. <laughs> How's that going over with you guys? It's great. I wasn't expecting you to go like that. It was just so good. (laughs) Yeah, I specifically didn't tell you guys before we started recording. Oh, it was really good. So instead of uh, randomly generated young adult novel titles this week, we've got randomly generated Hallmark Christmas movie titles. (laughs) My name is Sophie and I'm starring in this year's Hallmark number one jam which is winter for christmas (laughs) wow (laughs) come on guys we're having winter for christmas (laughs) amazing i forgot that there's people that aren't canadian that celebrate christmas and legitimately have christmas (laughs) without winter so i was immediately going to be like what the like no that's not even you can't have christmas without winter and then i was like sam no not everyone lives (laughs) up north oh yeah (laughs) Not everyone lives in a frozen wasteland. <laughs> uh, what about you guys? I would love to hear about your movies. My name's Sam, and I'm starring in the Christmas Hallmark blockbuster known as Once Upon a Connection. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is definitely someone who gets like stranded in an airport over Christmas, right? Wait, so is it just the terminal with Tom Hanks? <laughs> except specifically only christmas i mean i can't be the only person who goes to every time they go to an airport like hopes that they'll meet their soulmate at the airport (laughs) i every time every time i travel not that i've traveled in a year but i feel like that would be so tragic how would you find them again I don't know, but that's how the, that's the romance. They find you, they chased you. That's the grand display of love. Wow. Okay. Okay. (laughs) Generally, I get to an airport, like, in the grossest sweatpants. Just being like, please let this be over. (laughs) Yeah. But, you know, I guess if they don't love you at your airport sweatpants, (laughs) they don't deserve you (laughs) any other time. Anyway. Hello. My name is Hannah, and I will be starring in this year's smash hit Hallmark Christmas movie, A Christmas Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> What's this about? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, who made this code? We're, we're putting <laughs> bad. Christmas back in Christmas. <laughs> Put it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess that one makes the most sense as like a hyper religious. Yeah, that's true. Uh, they're like putting the Christ and the mass yeah, back in Christmas. Back in Christmas. Not in 2020. Wait until the vaccine has had widespread rollout. Yeah. So like 2022. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm getting that vaccine as soon as they tell me I'm allowed to. Yeah. I learned today that in theory, my demographic will probably be getting it next fall. So I love yeah. that. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah. This week we decided we didn't want to talk about the chapters because it's actually quite far from christmas but you know it's basically christmas (laughs) it rolled over to december and we were like ah we're done (laughs) (laughs) and our first idea was oh you know it'd be fun is if we like watched a vampire christmas movie you know kind of on brand there's got to be some Uh of those out there with the ten thousand hallmark movies out there there's literally none (laughs) there's not a single vampire christmas movie And I mean, I guess I kind of get it, but I don't really get it. Everything else has been made. I bet if Hallmark was, well, maybe they were, but if Hallmark movies were as big in 2007 as they are now, there would definitely be a vampire Christmas movie. Yeah. I can't believe there isn't even like a parody one. Like we couldn't find anything. We found like horror movies, but I don't want to watch a horror movie set at Christmas. 
I felt like <laughs> one that was actually set at Christmas. The other ones were like, it's vampires and it's winter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Was like, that doesn't count. Yeah. I want a vampire holiday rom com. Exactly. <laughs> so we're going to make it with zero experience <laughs> writing movies or actually, I'm pretty sure two of us don't really even watch Hallmark movies <laughs> ever. <laughs> <laughs> I watched two with my roommate last week. So you're the most qualified. Uh, <laughs> I I mean, I was once an actor in grade six. I was in a school production of The Wizard of Oz, and I had a line, and that okay. line was, follow the yellow brick road. <gasps> wow. So, you're, like, so qualified. Yeah. I, you know, they considered me for an Oscar that year, but it just didn't work out. <laughs> Damn. You you couldn't be there to accept the award, so they gave it to someone else. Yeah, I I think there was a like an age restriction and I was like twelve at the time. Yeah. You know. You know how it is. I wrote a play with a couple of my friends in grade six about the history of Quebec. So, you know, I (laughs) riveting. (laughs) So I think Uh I'm ready for this. (laughs) Perfect. And Sam? I mean, I've watched the most Hallmark movies out of the three of us. Let's That's be honest. The, honestly, the most important thing. You can yeah. <laughs> All right. So we're basically experts, is what we're saying. Yeah. <laughs> won't go badly at all. We do at least have like some structure to how we're going to do this. As we've mentioned before, each of us has a thing that we like very much in books. So we're going to include that in this movie if we can absolutely yeah so my thing is i want it to be a fairy tale retelling it might end up being very loosely based (laughs) (laughs) yeah Um, have you selected a fairy tale for us i have the fairy tale i've selected because it's christmas is the Uh nutcracker (laughs) oh man (laughs) nice which is just like absolutely off the rails yeah Yeah. (laughs) so it's going to be very loosely based on the nutcracker so because the nutcracker is very well known as a stage play can the nutcracker element be a theatrical production or do you want it to be like no the nutcracker happens in real life in this movie well so i had actually the nutcracker play Uh is based on a story called the nutcracker and the mouse king oh really which has like a less theatrical plot okay which like to me actually does fit better with what you would see in like your classic ya retelling of a fairy tale so (laughs) i don't know that it'll translate to screen very well (laughs) (laughs) but uh we'll get into that when we get there (laughs) can you Remind me what the Nutcracker is about. I know there's a Rat King and that's all I got. Yeah, so I'll I'll give like a super brief of the theatrical one because it's like much easier to summarize. And then I'll just say where the book differs from it, which is really just the ending, which is okay. good because the play is just like chaos. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Basically, this magician comes to a Christmas dinner where everyone's having a party and he's like the local councilman slash magician and he brings all these magical toys that dance around but there's like one this nutcracker that this one girl clara is like in love with her brother breaks it and she's very sad about it so at midnight she comes back down to check on her nutcracker and she looks up and as the clock strikes midnight the magician is there on top of the clock (laughs) (laughs) and then uh, mice begin to fill the room and she like shrinks and everything else grows and there's like a battle between the mice and their mouse king and like gingerbread soldiers Uh uh-huh uh and then the mouse king is killed by the nutcracker because of god clara throws her shoe and distracts him (laughs) so this girl was like on acid or something right yes that's not the end of it. In the theatrical one, they go to the land of sweets and stuff happens. And then he's like, wow, thanks. And takes her <laughs> home. And that's the end of it. In the book, after the Rat King is killed, basically the girl finds out that the Nutcracker was cursed to look like that because the Mouse Queen 
cursed this princess. Okay, wait. <laughs> this is confusing. <laughs> <laughs> let, me, let me go back. Okay. <laughs> the mouse queen cursed a princess to look basically like a nutcracker. And the only way to cure her was like this huge complicated thing. And so they found a boy who had like this huge complicated thing to solve it. And, but at the last moment he did something wrong. And so the curse flipped to him. And so now he was the nutcracker. <laughs> and the princess was like, wow, you're disgusting. Go away. Oh. <gasps> oh my God. Yeah. Even though he had saved her from looking like a nutcracker. <laughs> <laughs> And so then everything happened and then he found this girl and that's when he killed the Rat King. And basically she was like, oh man, that sucks. You know, if I was the princess, I wouldn't have said that. And then he's like, wow, that's solved and broke the curse. And then he was beautiful again. And that's well, easy, right? <laughs> a lot to digest. I feel like that gives us a pretty good like basis for a plot. Of yeah, a goofy movie though. Exactly. Because like really when you bring it down to the bare bones, it's just Beauty and the Beast. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Which is the most overdone fairy tale retelling in <laughs> YA right now. Yeah, so I think the part we should focus on is the part where she distracts the Mouse King and the <laughs> Nutcracker kills him. <laughs> right. In the book, the Mouse King has seven different heads. Oh my God. I vaguely do recall that. Like a Hydra. <laughs> <laughs> a Mostra. Yeah, that, that, it's like, well, you know, like the Rat Kings that have their tails all tangled together, like in real mm. life? Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's like that. Yeah, I think we have some, like, parts of that that we could use. Yeah. Yeah. Because I know Disney, like, tried to do a Nutcracker movie, and that just seemed wild but yeah so that's the fairy tale which i imagine is just a lot of chaos so what are your yeah. guys things <laughs> well we all know what my thing is i love enemies <laughs> lovers and i feel like okay i wasn't super familiar with the nutcracker but i feel like that's like a really applicable thing here that we can make work and i am a sucker for the hallmark movies where like the girl goes into the small town and then the guy like runs her, not runs her over. Wow. That's really <laughs> but, like, you know, like almost runs her over or like does something. And then they like start off hating each other and then they're forced to like work together and then they fall in love while they're doing that. Yeah. So mm-hmm. I feel like we can somehow make that work with the, like the girl and the Nutcracker, mm-hmm. and something. Uh-huh. Yeah. Because Beauty and the Beast is essentially also enemies to lovers, but with yeah. some Stockholm Syndrome in there. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the Nutcracker plot, and I just, you know, substitute every part they say Nutcracker for vampire. I think yeah. we've got, like, a solid story. Yeah. That's what I was thinking, too. I was like, that's definitely the easiest way. And then it's like the mice are bats. And then, mm-hmm. or like, mm-hmm. what else? What other? I refuse to make it wolves or werewolves. We can't okay. go that far. Unless we want to do it better <laughs> than Stephanie Meyer. <laughs> or, but there's lot, there's other mythical creatures that are the enemy of vampires. Yeah. Really? Like what? Well, you can either do, you <laughs> could do a good. monster. <laughs> Yeah, you could do um, good vamp versus bad vamp. So you have like uh-huh. your your evil vamps and your good vamps. That's a common trope. How do you feel about the enemies to lovers where like our main girl has to work together with the quote unquote nutcracker to kill yeah. the quote unquote rat king and they don't want to. Right, like that kind of thing where it's like, mm. oh, we're forced to work together, but I, I love hate it. that guy. Okay. I, I love that. Yes. But what if that's yeah. like our, yeah. I'm really on board with the idea that the Nutcracker is the vampire. Are we going to lock that down? Hell yeah. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So I have a thought because. <laughs> so do I. This might be nothing, but because this is set at Christmas, mm-hmm. I thought. What is a more, other than like Santa, what is a more Christmassy cryptid 
than the abominable snowman. (laughs) So can we have one of those instead of a rat king? (laughs) Yes. Yes. Like a Krampus? Can we have a Krampus? (gasps) Oh, we could have a Krampus. I like that. Okay, my opinion is that the quote-unquote main character has to be like a human woman, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now it should be like Sam's thing, enemies to lovers. So we have to pick someone who would be like a human, but like enemy of a vampire. And so I feel like there are some options. Like what if they were vegan? (laughs) 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 So I was thinking, what if she's vegan? (laughs) Or... Are we going to use the Nutcracker element where she like really likes the Nutcracker right off the bat and then something happens that Ooh. makes her not like him? Yeah. Like we can do like a obviously the vampire has to be beautiful. <laughs> yeah. No, no, Sophie. Dazzling. 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 <laughs> yes. Not and he has to be like super beautiful. cocky, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sarcastic as fuck. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Calm down, Sam. <laughs> Rude. <laughs> this is just going to be all of us calling each other out. Oh, I'm so here for that, though. <laughs> okay, no, but like, because I feel like having a fun twist, like, I don't know, maybe she's like a mortician or, oh. you know, like something that's like, no, I keep dead people dead. <laughs> what if she's... Like a cryptozoologist. Oh my god. Oh my god. No, because then she'd be like super into the vampire. Yeah, but that's the conflict is he needs her help, but he can't reveal to her that he's a vampire because then she'll, I don't know, dissect him or like study him or be weird about it. Right. (laughs) Hmm. Like, okay, 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 wait. What if the vampire is like traveling around like eating humanoid cryptids and so like like he's like the equivalent of like a big game hunter where he just like is like i'm gonna go eat the krampus and it's like (laughs) that's the only krampus in the world and it's like (laughs) i'm gonna go eat the krampus (laughs) oh so does he recruit her for help and she just thinks that this is this like handsome man who is also really into cryptids and like wants to go find krampus or like or like what if Okay, so what if, or what if he's there to, like, eat a different one, Mm -hmm. but then, like, they realize, like, oh, f*** this isn't, like, Bigfoot, it's the Krampus, and so it goes from, like, him just hunting it to being, like, oh, shit, the Krampus is hunting us. Okay, wait, 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 and to add to the elements that I love in a male lead, he has to have a tragic backstory, so, like, whatever he's looking for originally is, like, what killed his entire family, or is, like somehow related to how he became a vampire we discussed earlier in the show that my favorite trope is found family but i also love so much the family found or otherwise that has to fight each other so hear me out (laughs) krampus and dracula vampire are brothers (laughs) (laughs) So maybe they like lost track of each other and like vampire nutcracker is like yeah i heard about this krampus i'm gonna go kill it like it's i don't know encroaching on my eating people territory or whatever and right. then they find it and it's like oh my god it's my brother david <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah the big twist at the end is like uh krampus is what you get if like a vampire goes too far north <laughs> <laughs> by an arctic wolf <laughs> wait what's krampus's deal again he's like anti-santa yeah so if a yeah. vampire eats Punishment. manages to catch and eat an elf it becomes yeah. a krampus <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i feel like we're getting somewhere <laughs> like this is not a hallmark movie no i was like this is a horror movie oh. Oh yeah. Okay. Okay. Wait. 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 <laughs> I don't watch. Okay. I read oh. a lot of fantasy novels. I don't watch Hallmark movies. I do too, but I also watch a lot of Hallmark movies because I'm a sappy romantic <laughs> demon. <demon-fied. laughs> 
Okay. Okay. I think the idea of human woman and vampire nutcracker working together for a common goal yeah, and not yeah, liking yeah. each other at first is like solid. solid hallmark material. Yeah. yeah. Okay, wait. Okay. So you know what? No, you know what is going to get us back on track? We're going to pick our hallmark theme. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Hallmark movies generally have one of like six plots. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And they're always solid. So all we have to do is pick a Hallmark plot. Okay. Yeah. We'll weave that in somewhere and that will be like the big thing. <laughs> this might, okay. We might have to erase some of our previous stuff. That's okay. <laughs> but... I'm sure this is how the uh, boardroom pitch <laughs> yeah. works. This is usually how a boardroom pitch goes. Okay. I'm going to, yeah. I have a list of like, 12 hallmark oh holiday movie plots i'm not gonna say all of them i'm just gonna <laughs> go through them and pick ones that seem like they might be able to fit a yeah bit. okay i mean the classic <laughs> hallmark movies about opposites attracting <laughs> well yes Duh. yeah we got that far yeah oh i thought these would be way more in depth but that's literally the plot i guess <laughs> that they're gonna go with for this one <laughs> that's not a plot. yeah so that one we've already got check that box <laughs> yeah okay okay so a hallmark movie about heading home for the holidays so yeah. like that could be an option maybe like either the vampire is going this is where his family's from or she's yeah. heading home for the holidays i like that yeah yeah okay well we'll keep that Ooh. oh oh my god <laughs> maybe he can't find his family for whatever reason and he's like i've heard that there's this crypto zoologist here yeah I'm going to see if I can get her to help me find my family and then I'll eat her at the end. Wait. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I was watching Star Wars Rebels season finale last night, so I was feeling kind of maudlin. <laughs> I think it's carrying over. Like you do. <laughs> like Yeah, that's what I do. <laughs> <laughs> okay, another option. Hear me out. Yeah. A Hallmark movie about a childhood sweetheart. No. <laughs> so he's See, only just turned into a vampire. Okay, I was thinking that was like a double entendre where it's like, mm, she has the sweetest blood in oh. her heart. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Which is too Twilighty and also kind of gross for me. Yeah. Next. We've got Hallmark movies about falling for a handsome local. Uh -huh. Right? Yeah. Sam said that at the beginning. Yeah. So like mm -hmm. maybe she's coming home for Christmas. Yeah. And he's there, or the opposite. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, I just like the way they described this one, which was Hallmark movies about journalism, but Christmas. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> it is true, though. There's so many where it's like, girl goes to cover a story and then falls in love with a prince. So I think we're going to go with going home for the holidays. Okay. Right? Which one of them? I like the idea of the vampire going home personally. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What if he like left and hasn't been back in like hundreds of years or whatever? And oh then my god! Then we can have a reunion, of family reunion scene. Yeah. Oh yes. For, That's like, what I want. Great, 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 great grandchildren. Yeah. No, like the other vampires in his family. Oh. Yes. Sure. Wait. Yeah, I was definitely thinking he left his vampire family. Oh yeah, I'm into that. Like a century ago. That works. And now wants to go home but for some reason Oh my god. has to bring Wait. a human with him. <laughs> Is his only family the Krampus and he can't <gasps> find his brother and then it turns out his brother's the Krampus. <laughs> oh, oh. Yes. <laughs> Wait, are Hallmark movies allowed to be sad? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, well, does he know that his brother's the Krampus? Maybe he just doesn't tell the human that his brother's the Krampus. And, like, maybe they left because his brother turned into the Krampus and that's too different from a vampire. And it was like, oh, we can't do this anymore. <laughs> and then they lost track of each other because obviously vampires and Krampuses don't use social media. So how are they supposed to keep track of each other in this modernized world? This is a great point. You know, you know that because this is a Hallmark movie, the Krampus is going to have to not die at the end, right? It's yeah. just, yes. The Krampus is just going to have to be turned back into a not Krampus. Yeah. Or he could be like a chill Krampus. Yeah. Or he's like a chill Krampus. How about yeah. we take a make another hot toddy break and okay. consider what we've come up with so far. This is where we'll put the ads, the ad break. Uh, 
yeah, we took a brief hiatus to uh, refill our drinks because <laughs> we are all drinking the same thing for this episode of Midlight Christmas. And that is the, I forget what we called it. What was it called, Hannah? I came up with a couple ideas that I liked. There was the Midlight Potty mm-hmm. or the Hot Crisis. <laughs> <laughs> That one, that one, that one! Okay, so it's obviously the hot crisis. <laughs> so do you want to break down what's in it, Sam? Yeah, sure. So it's bourbon or whiskey, your favorite of choice. A lemon. So you squeeze half a lemon in and then you cut two slices of lemon, throw it in. You boil some water and throw that in. And then the secret ingredient is you replace the honey with maple syrup. <laughs> and my God, it is life-changing. It's really good. This is the yeah. Canadian hot toddy. A hot crisis. We're having a great time. Cheers. Hot crisis, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah. Eh? It's a hot crisis, I. Get a Mickey of that hot crisis in there. <laughs> Sam's got a Mickey of hot crisis in her drink. Yep. This is my fourth shot of the last hour and a half, so we got we got to get going or I'm going to yeah. be on the floor. We have to finish this movie stat. Okay. <laughs> All right. (laughs) All right. So I was thinking about it while I was mixing my drink. And (laughs) what if the Krampus in this town is like, I don't know if it's actually, I I think we're going actual Krampus, but like disguised as a person in the town, just like a human who is like Mm -hmm. ruining Christmas because it's a Hallmark movie. So what the Krampus does is during the Christmas season, punishes children who have misbehaved. So what if, like, in this town, this Krampus is just, like, acting as though no child has been good. And so they're, like, canceling the Christmas parade. Kicking over snowmen. Yeah, kicking over snowmen. Like, it's illegal to put lights up on your house. Like, what? that's what I'm thinking, right? Yeah. Okay. And so the vampire is coming home for Christmas. But, like, he loves Christmas because his family was always super into Christmas. And we said, okay, well, is it too? Okay, we have to have the tragic backstory because Sam loves it. (laughs) What if if the rest of the vampire family loved Christmas and they Mm -hmm. all died somehow? Okay, I have an idea, actually. Main character vampire. He needs a name. Chris left. (laughs) (laughs) Uh Uh-huh, Chris. Chris the Christmas yeah. vampire. Yeah. 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 Chris the Christmas vampire left <laughs> because this town was so Christmassy that he just like couldn't handle it. Right. Like they just went all out at mm. Christmas. So he left and he couldn't bear it. But now he's like, okay, I'm coming home for Christmas because I'm ready to see my brother who I've been estranged from. And so his yep. brother went the opposite way and is just like ruining Christmas. Mm. Every year it's like worse. So does. Chris know that his brother is the Krampus? Uh, or is that going to be like the reveal and the conflict and then they have a reconciliation? Okay. What, what if like... <laughs> what if like a normal vampire is one who loves Christmas? <laughs> like like what if we make our vampires like all... Like what if we find a way to make all Christmas traditions a thing that came from the vampire myth in this world? Yeah. Okay, yeah. so... One thing about that is I saw in a couple of resources that because mistletoe is like a parasitic plant, some people call it a vampire plant. Oh my god. Yeah, really? so exactly. Things yeah. like that. Yep. Yeah. I didn't know that. So it'll be like, oh yeah, we decorate with mistletoe because it's like the vampire holiday. It's the vampire. Yeah. And <laughs> I had an idea. Perhaps the vampire family was like really excited, you know, setting up for Christmas one year. And they got this, like, huge, beautiful tree to put up. And then it <laughs> tragically fell over and staked the entire oh, family. God. <laughs> and that's why Chris can't deal with Christmas anymore, because his family was killed by <laughs> a, a freak Christmas tree accident. <laughs> freak Christmas tree. I mean, yes. I yes. love this. Yes. Uh-huh. Absolutely. Yes. The thing I was thinking is, like, the reason christmas is celebrated when it is is because it's like the longest almost the longest nights of the year is like that week yeah Yeah. right and so that's why oh yeah we celebrate christmas because it's like when we can be out the longest yeah so it's like the vampire holiday oh man i love this i love this i love christmas that's a vampire (laughs) holiday (laughs) 
<laughs> it's fantastic. There's probably there's got to be some tie in to like mulled wine and like cranberries and all of those like dark red decorations, right? Yeah, like you got to mull your blood. <laughs> yeah, I mean it's like yeah, like why? <laughs> well, oh, it's like a thing to have like strings of cranberries and like mis- or holly berries and stuff because it looks like drops, drops of blood. Drops of blood, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and anytime oh like because vampires aren't super well known they would have like mulled wine going at the same time as blood. Mm-hmm. So if anyone came in to like, be like, what the hell are you doing? It's like, oh, it's just mulled wine. It's not blood. Yeah. yeah. It just looks like it. <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, and this makes total sense because most of our Christmas traditions are from like pagan traditions, right? That have yeah. this kind of like supernatural element. Yeah. There's already a history of Christmas traditions being co-opted by a religious group. So maybe it was a vampire holiday. Mm-hmm. And then like the vampires got along well with the pagans back in the day. So the pagans started taking some of these traditions. <laughs> Love it. And then the Christians were like, we're being persecuted. We're going to take these pagan traditions and say that they're ours now. <laughs> Hell yeah. So really, yeah. really uh, Christmas is all about vampires. <laughs> yeah, if you Love think it. about it. Love Christmas it. This is all about vampires. This is an amazing idea. Uh, someone I'm should so be writing this down. <laughs> writing this down i'm gonna re-listen to this episode when we're writing the screenplay that's gonna make us billions of dollars yeah billions. absolutely <laughs> writing credit midlight crisis what people if- will be like who the fuck <laughs> okay, wait oh my god what if okay. the original christmas was like a goodwill gesture between like the vampires of the town and the humans because like oh. you have this like very meat centric meal but yeah. like mm-hmm when you kill like a turkey you like bleed it first right and so oh. like it's so like, like thanksgiving vampire, yeah the vampires well, <laughs> well <laughs> not with colonialism <laughs> well i mean <laughs> well but yeah so like each got like part of it and it was i guess we're saying this is the origin of christmas was in this yeah. town <laughs> yes yeah we are we've gone off the rails into like hardcore world building now <laughs> Yes. Okay, yes, we so have. we need to back up a little bit. I think okay. that's pretty good. We're going to stop creating Christmas the Vampire story. <laughs> <laughs> but we need to figure out our characters. Who's yes. our yes. main character? Well, Chris, the Christmas Vampire. Yeah, there's Chris, the Christmas Vampire. Right. And if we're going off the Nutcracker, which I kind of had forgotten we were doing until yeah. just now, we is sh- yeah. the woman's name Clara then? Yeah, sure. Yes. Mm-hmm. And she... Maybe she goes to, like, buy... Oh, the meat cute. She goes to pick up this nutcracker from a store, and Chris also goes to pick it up because, I don't know, he his likes... Fa- it's, it was his family. It's like, it's in yeah, an antique it's an store. Antique. Yeah. Yes! And it's, and like, they fight over on their mantle. Yeah. Yes! It was, like, modeled after his father or something. Yeah. <laughs> yes! And she ends up with it, and one time there's, like, a scene where she's, like, looking at it, and she's like, it looks a lot like him. <laughs> Oh my god, yes. <laughs> okay. And then I almost spit my hot toddy. <laughs> so is Clara a local? Well, I guess so. I wonder okay. if like why is she in the town? Does she live there? I feel like she should be a recent addition. Yeah. yeah. So if she's like a cryptozoologist, then there's gotta be like she's there for <laughs> I'm I'm going with this. Like yeah. oh, I love a biologist into this somehow. So Well, maybe she's heard that there's a big like vampire presence around christmas in this area she's like deciphered some like old poems from the region or whatever and like pieced together a bunch of stories that like wait a second there seems to be an unusually high amount of vampire lore in this specific region at the specific time yeah and maybe she's really anti-christmas or something like that like maybe well she's too busy to celebrate the holidays like her work comes first yeah yeah 100 (laughs) percent okay and so like what if she krampuses aren't supposed to be in towns right like they're not supposed to be disguised as humans in towns they're supposed to be like living out in the forest like a a (laughs) bonneville snowman right and so she's like we have to get this krampus out of this town Mm -hmm. because it's a danger to humans Mm -hmm. right and it's ruining christmas (laughs) (laughs) well she doesn't care about that but chris probably cares about that chris cares a lot about that (laughs) and okay so are we doing that like she wants to kill the krampus 
and he wants wait. to just convert him back to wait yeah, wait a second did we Hold decide on. if he knows that the krampus is his brother yet yeah well so there's gonna be like you know after they decide to team up there's a moment yeah. where he's like there's only one thing that happens to a vampire that hates Christmas. <laughs> it's like, they become a Krampus. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then she gasps and she's like, oh, I've only heard of Krampuses. <laughs> I thought Krampuses were a myth. <laughs> she's like, I was here to find vampires. <laughs> Perfection. <laughs> yeah. At what hey, point wait. did she find out that Chris is a vampire? Okay, I think when they have their like meet cute and they like fight over the nutcracker <laughs> she like sees something right like she sees him like i don't know flinch she, like, away from the window or, or well i don't think it should be that i think it should be like gets a burn from like the window or something mm. his arm like while they're fighting his like sleeve rolls up and then he gets burnt by the sunlight or something mm. and then when she goes home and she's looking at the <laughs> nutcracker she's like wow like he said it belonged to a family member it looks a lot like him and then when he opens the nutcracker mouth it has fangs i was gonna say can it be a vampire nutcracker yeah, <laughs> yeah. That's what i think it should be yeah uh, like absolutely it. absolutely yes okay. okay so clara the cryptozoologist comes to town in search of vampires yeah and so she goes to like the local pub to be like, this is where people always talk about shit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She's like, I'm just going to see what the town drama is. And everyone's talking about how, like, the bad boy is in town. You know, like, oh, yeah, it said he's related. He's like the brother of the mayor. Right? Because the mayor is the Krampus. Yeah. It's like, oh, okay. supposedly, he's like the mayor's brother. And it's the first time he's been back in town in, like, decades. <laughs> And would they know that? Because Chris doesn't even know that he's the brother, does he? At first? Well, so I thought that they know the mayor is the brother, but they don't know that he's a Krampus yet. Right? Like, Yeah, that would work. Like, he's here to see his brother, who he's, like, oh, been estranged okay. from. Okay, yeah. And so he's like, let's say... <laughs> yes? <laughs> Uh, it's yes, more of an insight. I've been trying to come up with a name for the brother. Okay. No, I, this isn't even funny. There's like a running joke in my family that my brother's friend, Alex, ruins Christmas. <laughs> so <you> just <laughs> that just popped into my head and I'm like, oh, the, like, <laughs> the guy who ruins Christmas. It's like, oh yeah, it's that time that he like tackled the Christmas tree and like <laughs> ripped up all the presents. <laughs> Okay, wait. I I also have an idea. Okay. And what if the brother is named Chris also, but with a K? <laughs> For Krampus. I feel like that's too difficult in like an audiovisual medium, though. What about but then, Curtis? But then you I was thinking Cam. <laughs> but then you Craig. just have to have the one like one character when they're talking. They just always have to say Chris with a K. <laughs> or Chris with a C. Is Cram a name? What about Craig, but with a K? That's what I was thinking. Craig. <laughs> Craig is a good name. Yeah. Krampus, Craig, and Chris the Christmas Vampire. <laughs> <laughs> a good movie <laughs> yeah okay okay this so... is short for christmas for i will not be taking any notes <laughs> accepting no ads all right so goes to the pub everyone's being like mayor's brother has come to town but the mayor's refusing to see him like oh that's so sad and it's Aww. like yeah it's like we didn't even know he had a brother but uh -huh. like apparently he's been gone for a really long time and he's come back and so she's like hmm because i'm here to find vampires and she's like if nobody in town knows this guy but he's the brother he must have been alive for a very long time is the mayor really old well i was thinking the way they say it is they're like yeah apparently the mayor's brother is here but like it could be that she doesn't make the connection at first and then like runs into chris at the antique shop yeah and it's just like, oh, yeah. this guy's weird. And then she figures out that he's the brother and also that he's a vampire, like, around the same time. Yeah. And then she's like, wait a second, the mayor. The mayor. <laughs> must also be a vampire. She's like, it's worse than we thought to know him because he doesn't have anybody with her. She says, yeah. that, she says that into her little, like, recording. Tape recorder. Tape recorder. Yeah. <laughs> 
Okay, well, now that we're making this Clara sound like a giant dork, she just morphed into Sophie in my no. head. <laughs> <laughs> just like, aha! I would I've discovered be. it. <laughs> if I was in a Hallmark movie, I would be a cryptozoologist. Yes, you would Damn be. It. All right, when we cast this movie... Uh... <laughs> <laughs> when we cast this movie, I guess I'm playing it. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so, yes. Clara, who is not me... <laughs> she goes to the pub here's all this stuff and then right after that she's like you know where i'm gonna find some vampire paraphernalia at the antique mm-hmm. shop so she's like yeah i'm gonna, go buy, yeah, I'm gonna go buy some yeah. local history uh-huh and so she goes in and she like sees the oldest thing there which is this like nutcracker and like as she picks it up the guy chris chris and the <laughs> shopkeeper come up and he's like oh i was about to buy that <laughs> Mm-hmm. And they have like a fight because yep. she's like, uh, I'm holding it and I'm I need this it. for my research. Yeah. It's very she's important. Like, you can have it when I'm done with it. And he's like, No, <laughs> don't you know who I am? <laughs> this is a family heirloom. Yeah. <laughs> it's a family heirloom. And they fight and he says some snarky things at her, I guess. Something and she starts back. Sarcastic. Yeah. <laughs> They just snark at each other. Yeah. Who ends up with the nutcracker then? I think she ends up with it. Yeah. She ends up with it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, because he can just like sneak into her house and take it, probably. Probably. Let's not. How about this is a vampire who doesn't (laughs) sneak into people's houses while they're sleeping? Okay. No, there's the rule where you have to let them in. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. We can use that rule. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's one that is mandatory for (laughs) our vampire media. That is existing in our world. (laughs) Yep. So he's just going to wait it out because he's immortal. <laughs> and eventually yep. he'll get it back. <laughs> eventually he'll get it back. This is, I'm, I'm bound and determined to make this into a horror movie, apparently. Yeah. Okay, wait, what if, what Guys. if he wants it, what if he wants it not only because it's like a family heirloom, but like his brother has like destroyed or gotten rid of all of their like family Christmas stuff. Yeah, it's so the he's last like, thing. Yeah, and he's like, I want, I need to help my brother remember how to love Christmas. Yeah. So I have to show him all these family Christmas wait, things. Wait, 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 wait. Uh-huh. What if it has, like, something hidden in it? Because that's, like, a super common thing. It's, like, they try to get it back because there's, like, I don't know, some sort of, like, memory locked in it or something. Something, like, special. I don't know. Did we did we put magic in our world? Is is oh. magic? I, I don't, well, maybe well, they, like, vampires. painted it together or something when yeah, they were kids. Like, vampire kids? I, vampire kids? <laughs> I bet you. I bet you it's, like, a thing where, you know, like, in olden times where you didn't have anything to do, you would get like a yeah. build a nutcracker kit and they like put it together. <laughs> together. Yes. Okay, fair. Yeah. And yeah, painted they did it, it together to look- on Christmas Eve. Yeah, and they painted it to look like their dad. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Chill. Yeah, so that's the thing. So it does hold a memory, but not physically. Not physically, magically. Yeah. And so she goes home and she looks at it and she's like, oh dang, I think he's a vampire. Because I was here to fight to find vampires. Mm-hmm. She knows that vampires are really into Christmas. And she's like, the first, I guess, would she even be a cryptozoologist? Would she be like a cryptoanthropologist? Say, or like yeah. a historian, like researching Christmas? Yeah. yeah. And she, maybe she's like, because vampires aren't like a thing that people know about. What if she's like, that was my next people question always here. say that like, this is where Christmas came that Christmas came from like X, Y, Z pagan things. She's like, but I have a theory <laughs> that yeah. Christmas originated as like a vampire Thanksgiving. <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was my next question was like, how are vampires known in this world that we've created? Because usually real people only know about vampires because the vampires are somehow able to disguise their blood drinking. Yeah. Like yeah. in True Blood, right? Like that's why they were all, they all came out or like yeah. in Underworld, they were like the dominant species. Like, yeah. I feel like the vampire like mythos was probably pretty similar to our world. Just that it's yeah. like, these are absolutely fictional creatures. Yeah. And but then she she's like, like, but wait. <laughs> yeah. 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 There's a point where she's like pulling out notes and there's like an ancient book that has like yeah. a drawing and like, yeah. Stuff of like the that. Nutcracker maybe? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, maybe she, that's why she wants to buy it. Because she sees it and she's like, I've seen this Nutcracker before. Yeah. Where have I seen this before? Yeah. And she takes it home and realizes it, that she's like, 
seen it in a book from centuries old, like Christmas history or whatever. Hell yeah. I just yeah. want to point out, we have definitely made this way more detailed than any Hallmark movie ever is. And that's not bad. That's not bad. It's going to be the best Hallmark it's movie. It's going to be really good. But I just want to, like, on a Hallmark, like, movie note, this plot is a lot more in-depth than Chaos. any Hallmark movie. <laughs> okay. But it's good in the best yeah. way. Oh, okay. man. I really want to watch this movie. <laughs> I know we do. <laughs> we got to figure out the rest of it first, though. Okay, all right. right. Oh, we're only at like the inciting incident. I know. <laughs> That's why we have to get We're an it. hour into our recording. Oh no. <laughs> There's at least five minutes of like us they saying <laughs> hot. It's fine. <laughs> yeah, <cut> that out. <laughs> what if we just bleep out <laughs> names? <laughs> <Yeah! that. laughs> It'll be a mystery. Then the three people who listen to our podcast that we know are gonna be like, are they talking about me? Is that why? <laughs> 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 okay anyway okay so she has the nutcracker she figures out chris is a vampire and then she's like F- that means chris with a k is also a vampire craig <laughs> oh yeah craig, craig. well because i guess he'd be mayor he's been mayor for a long time no i was trying i don't know what their last name is <laughs> mayor <Yeah>. kringle <laughs> krampus <laughs> mayor kringle. Mayor kringle. <laughs> are you telling me there is name <laughs> Chris Kringle and, and Craig Kringle. That's a way too fucking drunk. Or maybe their last name is like Pringle, and it's no. like, wait, your name is Chris Pringle, and it's like, yeah, all of the songs like got it wrong. <laughs> okay, yes, I love it. Chris Bringle. Uh, <laughs> Chris Bringle. <laughs> there, he's like, there's a scene where he's like, you really think we'd name ourselves, like we'd alliteratively name our children? That would be torture. Yep. Oh, God. Just reviewing okay. anybody I know with an alliterative name. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So the next thing, the next thing we need is why they have to work together. Yeah. Okay. What if she has a meeting with the mayor? And mm-hmm. he's like, he shows up and he's like, I'm sorry I was an ass, but I really need to get in to talk to my brother. <laughs> oh. And she's like evil glaring him. Yeah, and he's, he's like, I need you to like say that I'm your assistant. And so like, whatever you're talking to the mayor about, I have to be there. Yes. Because he's like, this is the only way I'm, my brother's going to let me talk to him. Yes. So another possibility could be the opposite direction where she realizes that like oh that's the mayor's brother and she's been desperately trying to get a meeting with the mayor but like he knows what she's there to research because he's the mayor he's like i'm not going to talk to this lady she's going to figure it out and she finds chris and is like okay i need to talk to your brother i will give you this nutcracker if you get me in to see him and chris is like knows that craig bringle doesn't want to talk to him (laughs) Uh uh-huh but he's like i really want that nutcracker i am going to lie and say like yeah i will get you a meeting with my brother in return for this uh uh uh, vampire cracker okay yeah okay because i was thinking the next part would be they get into this meeting with the mayor and both of them realize at the same time that like something's up Mm -hmm. right and so when they leave they're like now we have to work together (laughs) yeah now we have to figure out how to yeah save my brother slash rid the town of the krampus yeah she's like we have to kill him <laughs> and he's like no what <laughs> like no 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 we don't <laughs> and that that would be a good time when they're like walking out of the office and have you know that moment in a movie where like two people stand in like silence and don't look at each other and then one of them says the thing yeah yeah that's when you say yeah. there's only one thing that can happen when a vampire hates Christmas. Yeah. Cause she's like, as they leave, but he like, you're, you're a vampire. Like he can't be a vampire. Like vampires love Christmas. How can mm-hmm. he be a vampire? And then he's like <laughs> shadowy, like three quarter view. And he's like, yeah. there's only one thing. That yes. <laughs> when, a, when a vampire hates Christmas. Yes. And there's like a lightning crack outside and it's like, they become a Krampus. <laughs> <laughs> 
the oh lights flash on the Christmas tree in the town square and <laughs> yeah. then go out. <laughs> oh my god. Just da, da. <laughs> the tuba in the marching band falls over. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, this is great. Oh man. Yeah, whatever I happens this there. Movie. Yeah. <laughs> Do we need to figure out like what happens in the meeting? No. Like I feel like what happens is they don't actually meet the mayor. Yeah. Like he's not there. They like they see him as he's like walking by on the phone being like, no, you have to like take down, I don't know, the wreath on Main Street. I did not authorize this. We are not allowing any Christmas decorations this year. Oh my God, wait, okay, wait. You don't have a permit for your Christmas wreath. <laughs> okay, wait, I have a great idea. Okay. Okay, wait, that, yes. As, <laughs> but like the way she phrases it is she's like, I need you to get me into his office. Hmm. Right, like the way she phrases it is like it doesn't necessarily mean that he has to be there. And so the right, vampire okay. is like gets the loophole, which makes her even more angry at him. Yeah. Like he's like, Oh, I brought yes. you in. Yes. Yep. Yes. Like, yeah. I fulfilled my end of the promise. Yes. Yeah. I'm here for it. Yes. But like they get into the room and it's like full of Christmas decorations. But then like she's like, wait a minute. And she like goes over to the tree and she like holds up the plug for the Christmas lights, which isn't plugged in. And she Uh-oh. like goes over to the wreath and it's like upside down. Yeah. <laughs> <And> like <laughs> all the Christmas decorations are like not right. And it, like each one is revealed with like a dun dun. Yeah. <laughs> like, oh my God. <laughs> and that's when, and they like leave. And then she's like, I thought vampires loved Christmas. Or maybe they realize something's wrong. And they're like, oh, we don't know what's going on here. We have to get out of here. And that's when they hear him on the phone walking mm-hmm. towards the door. And it's yeah. like, we got to get out of here. Like, something's wrong with him. We need to figure it out. Oh, oh. And the way they get out is, like, he uses some vampire power. Yeah. Yeah, yes. So that she gets confirmation that he's a vampire. Like, I don't know. He turns into, like, a cloud of bats and carries her out or something. Yeah. Okay, wait. <laughs> yeah. Bad for good. What's yeah. a more Christmassy animal that he could turn into? Um... But isn't a snuggly bat in a Santa hat really Christmassy? Bats <laughs> like, are pretty like, Christmassy. What if it's just a bat, but it's like really cute? Like yeah, what, yeah. Like, a, like what if it's a flying fox bat? Like it's just Aww. snuggly. Oh, a flying Arctic fox. Or it's just like I mean, <laughs> listen, hold on. <laughs> it turns into a flock of penguins. <laughs> no. Oh, <laughs> Wait, puffins. <laughs> if, if you make just like a vampire bat big. Like, they're actually pretty cute. They're pretty cute. They're adorable. But, like, he's just a big vampire bat. And it's like, oh, you're actually kind of adorable. And he's like, yeah. Yep. <laughs> and that goes yeah. back into, like, the Nutcracker theme, though, because we have to have... Yeah. Oh, we have like, to have the rats. We have to have, like, something oh, yeah. that's, like, representing an army, I guess. But I don't know if it's going to be an army of bats. But anyways, we need some sort of, like, animal tie in there. It can be, like, the town is the army. Yeah. Fighting. Okay. Yeah. Maybe when they have to fight Krampus, he turns into like corrupted bats. <laughs> They're like, "Oh, these aren't Christmas bats." Yes. Yes. And they have to defeat the bats. <laughs> Guys, I love bats. Like bats are adorable. Please bats bring the so bats. Cute. I want the yeah. bats. Okay, so he turns into a really cute vampire bat. Yeah, and like flies her out. And th- when they land, she's like, "You're a vampire." So that means he's a vampire. But like vampires love Christmas. So how can he be a vampire? And that's Does he the- clock that, like, wait, she figured out that vampires love Christmas? Because that's not part of the lore. Like, how did she know? Um, or is he too distracted by the realization that his brother Craig Bringle, <laughs> and- <laughs> the vampire, <laughs> has <laughs> become yeah, exactly. Bringle the Krampus? <laughs> I'm gonna choke. Okay. <laughs> My throat is closing every time you say the name. <laughs> Krampus Craig. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> okay, no. How about in the scene where she's like, I need you to get me in to see your brother and I'll trade you your nutcracker. And then he's like, you're going to get bored of the nutcracker anyway. I'll get it eventually. And then she's <laughs> like, or maybe the whole town should know that you're a vampire. Oh. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, so she, like, reveals that, and then he's like, oh, sh**. So it's the She pretends that it's not true until he has to turn into a bat to get them out of the office. And so, like, as they're heading up to the office, she, like, keeps making sniping comments, like, oh, it's an awfully big hat to be wearing. (laughs) And long (laughs) sleeves. (laughs) (laughs) And he's like, it's f***ing winter. (laughs) Love it. 
It's not cold enough for gloves and like a scarf and a toque pulled all the way down. It's and like, he's like, I'm from California. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and then she's like, well, you're not very tanned. Do you never go in the sun? <laughs> He's like, I use SPF 100. Yeah, I'm allergic anyway, to the sun. Yeah. That's the thing. Yeah. And then she's like, yeah, vampires. That's some good banter, too. Yeah, that's good va- vampire va- I mean, banter. Not the way that we said it, but like, no. if somebody wrote it and like put more than four minutes of effort into it, that would be some good banter. I love me some good banter, yes. Okay, so after they get out. Yes. Then they're like, we have to fight a Krampus, or we have to yeah. do something about this Krampus. Yeah, and, and she wants to kill the Krampus, and he wants to save his brother. Yeah, and so the whole thing is he's like, if we can remind him how great Christmas is, mm-hmm. he'll turn back into just a regular vampire, which I guess is what we want in this town. <laughs> which is better. <laughs> better in our world. And he's like, we only have like four days until Christmas. Oh, yeah. So we have to get the town super f-ing hype about yep. christmas christmas carols in the streets oh, yeah it's like elf yeah <laughs> i love elf that's my favorite christmas movie what if like the quote unquote krampus army is like would he have an army well like if we're doing the nutcracker thing but he could just turn into a swarm of bats and that could be the army it's i guess just so. him I guess I just didn't think they were going to be, like, physically actually fighting him. Yeah, me neither. Mm-hmm. Like, I thought okay, it was going to be, like, a feelings showdown. So it could be he tries to fight them, and they, like, catch him and lock him in a Santa's workshop in the mall or something. Oh, yeah. What if, okay, they do, like, an underground, like, Christmas market. Like, what if they're, like, we're going to f- turn yeah. We're yeah. Set up a Christmas market and there's going to be like a tree and there's going to be carols and there's going to be like a secret Santa gift exchange yes mm-hmm. and all of that and free hot chocolate they like lure him in yeah. and so at the end the like quote unquote fight scene is like you know on one side there's like the people caroling at him and he's like oh god uh-huh. <laughs> and, then, and then as he stumbles away he like turns around another corner and there's like oh mulled apple cider <laughs> <laughs> People tonight decorating a tree, remembering like the true that. meaning of Christmas. Oh, maybe there's like a scene when he likes is stumbling around, like clutching his head or whatever, where he like turns and sees them decorating the tree, and there's like two like little boys who have like <gasps> Christmas ornaments that look like the ones that he and Chris painted when they were kids. Oh my god. One of their first Christmases that they can remember. It's like, oh my god, like, they both painted, I don't know, yeah, block carvings of reindeer or whatever. Yeah. yeah. And he sees that and he's like, no! And then, oh, but then it's the Christmas tree and the Christmas tree is why he hates Christmas in the first place. That's sad. Yeah. I just made myself really emotional. <laughs> <laughs> Might have something to do with the four shots of whiskey I've had today. <laughs> yeah, I've had a lot of bourbon. Oh, yeah. man. Yeah. And then at the end when he's like, he falls down on his knees being like, oh, I just was so sad about Christmas ruined our family. And he like turns and his brother's there and he has the nutcracker and he's like, you still have a family <laughs> and it's right here. <laughs> oh my god and then that's the movie yeah (laughs) and then i guess it's supposed to be a hallmark movie so i guess the two main characters kiss at the end (laughs) yeah they have to okay (laughs) no you know what it is they have the brothers have their reunion yeah and like chris finally like goes and finds claire and is like hey i know this isn't like what you thought you were getting into but thank you for like helping my family find each other again and then she brings out like some vampire thanksgiving tradition that she's oh my god and he's like how did you know that like this is so important to us she's like i you know (laughs) i did some research yeah she's like here's one part of the market that like i did and it's yeah like like a vampire christmas tale (laughs) yeah it's just (laughs) dead turkey (laughs) dead turkey and mulled blood (laughs) mulled turkey blood (laughs) or even just like she brings him, like, a glass of mulled wine and some, like, mistletoe or whatever we decide. Yeah. Yeah. Decided were, like, the vampire traditions. Yeah. It's like, yeah, I thought that maybe, you know, 
should bring some of the <laughs> put some of the Chris back in Christmas. <laughs> And then they fall in love. Yeah. Obviously. Obviously. There's like an arc where they're like building the secret. Yeah. Oh my God. A montage, right? Oh my God. That's the montage where they fall in love. Yeah. Yeah. And they stop becoming enemies. And then there's. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And then at the end, she has to like take his hand and lead him into the like, I know we were working together, but I did this on my own. I think you'll like it. Yes. Yeah. Ah! Yeah. I just got emotional. I had to <laughs> Sam and I are both just like in our feelings. <laughs> Too deep in the feelings. And like, oh. there's gonna be lots of times where there's like through the montage, they're working together and they like accidentally grease hands or like they're super yeah. flirty with banter and then like she accidentally falls and he catches her. Oh my yes. god. <laughs> when he has to move like slightly too fast to catch her, yes, right? like he wouldn't have been able to do it if he was human, <laughs> or <laughs> she, like I don't know, cuts herself on a nail or something, and it's like, oh no, and he just does first aid and doesn't do anything creepy about it, and she's like, oh, I love that, <laughs> I love that too. <laughs> <laughs> I, love, I really want this movie. I <laughs> love cry myself to sleep now. Yeah, Me too. I love the idea of them like bringing the town together. <sighs> yes, the town coming together. <laughs> and there's like a scene where like one of the old grannies catches her staring at him when he like takes his yes. shirt off to hammer some nails yes! or something. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and she like nudges her, and she's like, "No, it's not like that. We yes! just, yeah. we just have yeah. to work together." <laughs> yes. Uh-huh. It's like, oh, we barely know each other. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think we kind of got pretty vague at the end there, but I think we have a movie. I think, I think we did. We have a movie. I think we have a movie. I think this is a way better movie than the one my roommate and I watched the other day about a cop who goes on a stakeout and falls in love with the man she is staking out at Christmas. No! What? Yep. Which that. one is this, Hannah? It's okay. He falls in love back. Oh, what was it called? <sighs> Is it on Netflix? Yeah. Oh, shoot. Are you going to watch it, Sam? <laughs> yes. Oh, genuinely, no. like, don't. It's not good. Nothing I have this thing good. that I have to watch, like, every Netflix bad Christmas movie that comes out every year. So I've already watched Holiday. I've watched The New Princess Switch. I have not seen this one yet, though. Holiday was actually good. I did like Holiday. Yeah, I did like Holiday. Yeah, Christmas Catch. Don't okay. watch it. Well, I probably will, because I yeah. enjoy suffering. <laughs> it wasn't very good, but it had a far more ridiculous premise than our vampire Christmas movie does. <laughs> I want our vampire Christmas movie to exist, because like I, I want to watch it with both of you. <laughs> yeah, I did a few minutes ago have a genuine moment of like, should we be like putting this out there for anybody to take? <laughs> this is our Anyone idea. Anyone to have it? <laughs> I mean, the podcast is timestamped, so it's... It's true. By the time it's posted, if anything comes after it... We'll fire a trademark. Yeah. Okay, Sophie, what's the elevator pitch for this movie? Oh, God. I was put on the spot. Okay, it's like Van Helsing meets a Hallmark movie. <laughs> <laughs> We've got our two super hot main characters. One, he's a vampire. The other one, she's a vampire historian. No, she's not a vampire. <laughs> she's a historian who studies vampires. I realize that's confusing. <laughs> they hate each other because he's an asshole to her at the beginning, but she needs his help to get in to see his brother, the mayor, who she thinks is also a vampire. They find out that the vampire mayor hates Christmas, which means he can't be a vampire. And it turns out he's a Krampus who's oh no. trying to bring down Christmas in the whole town, which sucks. And so she's like, we got to kill him. And he's like, no, actually, we just have to help him remember how much to love Christmas. And so they set up a secret underground Christmas fair market with the whole town, bringing the whole town together. And then they make him remember Christmas and is happy. Uh, this is so good. This is oh such a good movie. Somebody hire movie. us to write this movie. I literally <laughs> just contained myself that whole time while you were talking. Because I was like, holy f- I want to watch this movie. It's going to be so good. It's going to be so good. If you want to help us make our holiday screenwriting dreams a reality, consider rating and reviewing Midlight Christmas on iTunes or your festive podcatcher of choice.
You can join us for carols and our new signature cocktail, The Hot Crisis, on social media. <laughs> we are at Midlight Pod on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And all drafts of the screenplay thus far, there are none, are available on our website, midlightpod.podbean.com, and on YouTube. We will not be releasing those drafts to anybody because we're going <laughs> to turn this into a movie. We need to come up with a title for yeah. this movie. I mean, I kind of liked putting the Chris back in Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That's pretty good. What's our, who's his, oh yeah. Okay, what about rocking around the, the Chris Bringle tree? Oh my god. <laughs>